speakers are both speaking on medical marijuana, Scott Chipman and Adela Falk. Please come forward. I'll give you a minute and a half each. San Diego's for safe neighborhoods. We have many concerns about retail sales of marijuana in our communities. Retail sales of marijuana is not about sick people getting medicine. It's about backdoor legalization and drug dealers making profits. Prop 215 allows healthy recreational users to easily obtain doctor's recommendations for marijuana and then buy as much marijuana from as many stores as they like as often as they choose. Prescriptive medicine is not distributed this way. That's not safe. Let's not pretend that these are stores of about compassion for the sickest among us. After records were seized from a recently closed cooperative, the DEA reported that of the 1,732 members, approximately 19, 900 were between the ages of 18 and 22. Second, these dispensaries are drug dealers operating for profit. San Diego pot shop owner John Hester, who pled guilty for trafficking, and is now serving over eight years in prison for operating his two dispensaries, was making three and a half million annually. Glossy advertising, daily specials, flashing signs betray these businesses for what they are. Third, division from, diversion from these di uh, neighborhood stores is common and teen use is skyrocketing. While we adults have been debating, San Diego teens have increased their use. Use by 11th graders is up 70 percent in San Diego City schools and pot dispensary vials are commonly found on or near schools or in possession of students. And learning and pot don't add up. The American Academy of Pediatrics recognizes that. Thank you very much. Adela Falk. Good morning, City Council. So I'm here today to show you why you're all going to vote yes for the new medical marijuana ordinance. Because of this MMIC card, it's really awesome. This is a recommendation from Dennis Boyver that he got from um, Dr. Robert Sterner. This is not going to be enough to get you into a medical marijuana collective in the city of San Diego. This costs anywhere from $50 to $100, maybe $150. In addition to this, you're going to have to get what we call a medical marijuana ID card that is issued from the county public safety state of California. It doesn't have his name. It doesn't have his address. All it has is his number. It's $166. Most of only $82 goes to maintaining the MMIC program and the rest goes back to the city of San Diego and the county for, um, into our general fund. It's protected. It's an additional 166 bucks. There's only currently 500 people in the city of San Diego that have the MMIC card and in the county. 500. Only those 500 currently will be able to get into it. Medical Marijuana Collective once you all adopt this. So there's extra steps that we're taking, so I'm just going to encourage you all to adopt the medical marijuana ordinance that the Mayor Filner has worked so hard with and show you that, that, that we're really working hard and we really want to protect you and we want to protect the patients. And I thank you all for bringing up the subject again. Have a beautiful day.